I was more, I, I said yes more easily to, uh, to participate, so I think it's a great as idea. An, as, an, uh, as a poet's viewpoint, rather than uh, uh, another entity, as a poet, how yeah. do you look at festivals like this in empowering Sri Lankans to take up literature? I think they are really important, and that's why they have festivals like this around the world, like the Jaipur Festival in Singapore. I just attended one in Singapore last year and one in the south of England. It's, I think it's hugely encouraging because it's normally it's a book you communicate to your reader by just a book. But in a festival, you get to really meet them, your readers, and the readers get to connect and they realize that you're just another flesh and blood person like them, just another person who writes. So hopefully, I, uh, I, I, a lot of young people have told me that I inspire them to write. So I feel a lot of them uh, that is because of a personal connection or they, they meet you or uh, you kind of you know, connect Have with them. Yeah, like a personal thing. I think festivals are great. As an, as an ending note, I'd just like to ask you a question about uh, one of your works which mm -hmm. was read out. Mm -hmm. um, you give a lot of vivid and maybe even graphic portrayals of incidents, but yeah. you end it off with humor. Yeah. Is that an effective technique about how does that come across? I think it is also uh, my vision of the world, which is uh, I see the tragedy, but I also see the impermanence in that tragedy and I see how people in the midst of death and destruction that always the human spirit wins over and I and I, I believe that humor is a great way to overcome a lot of pain in life and to survive the moment and also to, to let go of your ego because when you're laughing you're really not conscious of yourself.